This video is for the ISS Rollout Solar Ray, or IROSA, 1A install EVA. Steve Bowen, EV1 with the red stripes, egresses and receives a crew lock bag and puts it on his body restraint tether. EV2 with white stripes, Woody Hoberg, egresses with the crew lock bag on his body restraint tether and closes the thermal cover. EV1 translates up the forward face of the truss and goes starboard. He stops to configure safety tethers. EV2 follows a similar translation path and goes to the port crew equipment translation aid cart to temporarily stow his bag and retrieve an articulating portable foot restraint. Meanwhile, EV1 translates to the IROSA carrier, stows his bag, and retrieves his pistol grip tool. EV1 begins preparing IROSA for removal from the carrier, first releasing a restraint bolt on the upper IROSA. EV2 relocates the foot restraint and installs it on the space station's robotic arm. EV2 ingresses the foot restraint, and then the arm will move him away from the truss. EV1 translates to the lower IROSA and releases its first restraint bolt. He releases both anti-rotation devices back on the upper IROSA, and then will stow them in the crew lock bag. On the robotic arm, EV2 is flown over to access two sets of bolts on the boom end of the upper IROSA. The first two bolts will allow the boom deployment system rollers to be moved into place to help with the array deployment later in the spacewalk. The second two bolts will release two of four mechanisms that hold the IROSA in its rolled up configuration. EV-1 partially releases the upper IROSA's restraint bolt and installs the first of two handling aids called scoops and prep for removing IROSA from the carrier. The arm flies EV-2 over to the hinge end of the upper IROSA and both crew members work to release the final bolt holding it to the carrier. EV-1 installs a second scoop and EV-2 lifts the IROSA off of the carrier. After several maneuvers on the robotic arm, EV-2 will arrive at the 1A Modkit worksite. During these maneuvers, EV-1 will pick up the temporarily stowed bag from the port cart and reconfigure both crew's safety tethers on his way to meet EV-2 at the Modkit. Both crew will then work to install IROSA onto the 1A mounting bracket. The crew will release the scoops, and EV-2 will move into position to release the final bolt holding IROSA in its folded position. Once released, EV-1 will hold IROSA closed while EV-2 egresses his foot restraint and gets into position. Both crew will then work together to unfold IROSA and secure the right side onto the mounting bracket. Once secured, EV-2 will drive two hinge bolts that hold IROSA in the unfolded position. EV-2 will then move away from IROSA to reconfigure a safety tether on the arm. EV-1 works to drive eight bolts to fully secure the IROSA to the mounting bracket. Both crew will then work to electrically connect the new IROSA to the ISS power system. They'll first attach four connectors to IROSA, then both will move to either side of the legacy array to disconnect the old array and connect a Y cable. This will allow power to flow from both the new IROSA and the legacy array to the space station power system. At this point, EV-1 moves into a deployment viewing position and EV-2 will release the final two bolts restraining IROSA in the undeployed position. IROSA will deploy over the next six to 10 minutes. During deployment, EV-1 translates back to the IROSA carrier to reconfigure the carrier beams that previously held the upper IROSA. These beams need to be rotated out of the way to allow access to the lower IROSA on the second EVA. Once deployment is complete, 
EV2 will release two bolts that allow the Irosa blankets to become tensioned. EV2 then cleans up the mod kit worksite, retrieving his crew lock bag, and heads to the carrier to help EV1 with the carrier beams. The crew members will work together to release the bolts holding the beams in place. Then they will rotate the beams out of the way and secure them back down. This is the last task in the first DVA. Both crew will clean up the worksite and translate back to the airlock. They will clean up their tethers on the way. They will then work to ingress and begin repressing the airlock. This will finish the first of two EVAs. Subscribe for more space.